Hello everyone, this is Laromi. Um, <laughs> I'm back with the video and it's the second one that I've done today and I will upload both of them. Um, you know, if we, well if you're, if you're watching now I've got, you know, I've uploaded it. So, in this video I'm going to be talking about something that I've noticed that I really don't, um, I don't like. Um, and the reason I don't like it is because of the fact is that it kind of makes me worried about what I was actually inhaling during all those times I was using all that incense. And so I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about it so people understand where I'm coming from. So I have two kinds of in, I have two kinds of powdered incense. I have uh, incense from Hex. And I have incense from uh, from uh, Isis Books and Gifts. And I was actually um, she said I was actually um, measuring out my incense for Yule which if you're a Celtic Recon, you're not preparing for it. If you are just a typical Celtic Pagan or Celtic whatever, you're getting ready for it. I'm actually getting ready for it as well. And I was busy measuring it out and I noticed there was these little plastic balls. And I was looking at it and go, okay, what is plastic doing in my incense? And I was like, okay, this is not good, this is not healthy, you know, what if I inhaled something that might give me cancer? So I was really worried about it. So, what I ended up doing was, I ended up, um, I've got a book called uh, Com uh, Complete Guide to Incense Oils and Brews by Scott Cunningham. At the towards the very end, it's like the last recipe. I think is the last recipe. It might be the next last recipe. They've got a recipe for Yule incense, and I was only out of like juniper berry. I didn't have juniper berries and something else. And I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just order this stuff, and which I'm gonna be ordering on the when the third turns over to the fourth because of the fact is that I'm going, um, no actually take it back, I'm going to order it on the third, not the fourth, the third. So anyways, um, so I at the time order, I got a couple stones that I'm ordering and definitely I'm ordering um, like um, I think there's a flea powder that I'm going to be making for the house because um, I'm getting really sick and tired of fleas jumping on me and biting me and making my life miserable and all that type of stuff. So I'm, make, I'm making two kinds. I'm making one for the um, one for the uh, one for the carpet and one for my cat. And I am hoping and praying that his recipe works and I can uh, be finally rid of these blasted things. But I told mom I'm gonna go ahead and get these two ingredients and she's like, okay, go ahead and do it because she's getting sick and tired of it too. And she too is also worried about some of the products that's out there for to get rid of fleas. So I'll be doing a lot of I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding uh, next month, but the point of making your own incense, and I know a lot of people might say, "Oh, that's just too much work. I might as well just buy it pre-done." You know what's in it. You you know, this is the thing. We go out and we buy all this pre-packaged, pre-measured uh, incense, and we and we get shocked. When we see things in it that makes us go, what? Okay, that's not. I don't want that in my in my uh, in my lungs. And so we have to we have to understand 
that people put stuff in stuff that is not necessarily healthy for us. And so that was one of the big reasons why I said, okay, you know, yes, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make astrological incense from, for, uh, December 24th, whatever, to January something. And, you know, and I'm going to make it. But, but when you, when you, like I said, when you, when I make it, I know what is going to be in it. I don't have to second guess okay, all right, um, why, why is this, you know, how, why is this in this and it's going to hurt me? So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to order the stuff on the 3rd. It'll arrive on the, let's see here, the 6th, and I'll get it on Thursday. And as soon as I get it, um, I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to make the incense and throw away the one, the Yule incense that I'm not going to use because of the plastic pellets. And I'll be probably, uh, <laughs> I probably will be making um, a lot of it because I'm, I'm actually going to be celebrating it for 12 days. So the incense has to do me for 12 days. But um, I made Sagitt I made Sagittarius incense, and what I'm actually going to do is, when I run out of it, because I burnt some Monday to bring to bring in that energy into into my life, that Sagittarius energy. Tomorrow I'm burning some more. Um, the only, the only problem I have with that incense is it likes to stick to the bottom of the bottle or the jar. So I have to literally just like scrape it so I can get a, a good amount. But, um, yeah, so, you know, every time, any time that I burn like, I okay, can't burn a kiffy incense mainly because I want to get rid of it and I want to reuse the bottle so that I can, um, put my, um, put my next astrological incense in. Um, but I'm going I'm going to um, finish that up and I'm thinking about just dumping uh, all of my incense minus my like my astrological ones like my mercury and my uh, other stuff. But anyways, I'm kind of really leery about buying more incense from that sh uh, store, especially when I saw what uh, was in it. But yeah, so uh, if I if I run out of that incense before bef before the sun goes into the next astrological house, I will make a video and I will show you guys um, how I do it. But um, the incense, the Sagittarius, Sagittarius incense, did produce a lot of smoke. Um, I did like that. Um, but I'm really seriously thinking about just dumping, you know, all the incense, except for my Rihanna and Lube, which I do know just has the rinsen and the um, herb, or the, the bark and flowers. Those two I won't be dumping. All right, so I'm going to um, in here. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will be around probably on uh, Tuesday, which will be the new moon, because um, I'm gonna do uh, two videos. I'm gonna show you guys my updated um, uh, Celtic culture, and I'm also going to um, sit. Um, I'm also going to show you what my ultra looks like for the new moon after I do the ritual. So um, I will see you then. So until next time, may Morgan bless you. And thanks everybody that has subscribed and those who will subscribe. Bye.